Good afternoon. I'm Allison Underwood with this news brief. Mayor Walt Maddox met with District 6 at Tall Pines Golf Club on Thursday. Once a month, Maddox alternates meetings with each district outside of City Hall. This is a way for citizens to address mayor in a more comfortable setting. Maddox said he finds it effective to meet outside City Hall each month. On Thursday, the mayor expressed significance of having the meeting at Tall Pines Golf Club out of any other location in the Druid City. The next meeting will be 5 to 7 p.m. on October 4th, located at Heritage House on McFarland. From California to North Carolina, chefs are cooking their favorite cuisine for a special cause. The event Chefs Unite for Rise gathered at the North River Yacht Club to raise money for the Rise Center. Andy Gillen, director of the Rise Center, says special needs kids attend Rise for free. She said the funds on Thursday night will be going towards their mission. The Rise Center has six classrooms for children with or without special needs. Each classroom has additional therapeutic services as well as medical attention for students. Kelly John, mother of a Rise student, said the Rise Center is like a distant cousin to Disney World because it is a wonderful place to go every day. The event also has a silent auction with many different prizes. Gillen said they are always looking for volunteers. For more information, visit Rise Center's Facebook page. Tonight, people across West Alabama have gathered at the em Embassy Suites to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Indian Rivers Behavioral Health. Indian Rivers has multiple facilities stretched across West Alabama, which includes Bibb County, Pickens County, and Tuscaloosa County. Sandra Bonner, an Indian Rivers employee, said the event had a great turnout for the 50th anniversary. James Fowler, employee of Kyle Office Solutions, said Indian Rivers is, a vital, is vital to the community. Indian Rivers Behavioral Health offers adult and child programs and hopes each individual has the best outcome from the services. John Merrill, Secretary of State, said he is an avid supporter for the behavioral health facilities. For the month of September, known as Suicide Prevention Month, Indian Rivers is offering first aid classes. For more information, visit Indian Rivers Health Facebook page. Tuscaloosa Tourism and Sports held the first ever Druid City Music Festival in hopes of getting the community more involved. Local venues in downtown Tuscaloosa hosted several bands throughout the weekend. Marketing and Communications Manager for Tuscaloosa Tourism and Sports, Barrett Elders, says he's excited to share what downtown Tuscaloosa has to offer. The festival gave the city's residents an opportunity to gather more to remind them how tight-knit the city of Tuscaloosa is. Druid City Music Festival welcomes all ages to enjoy the variety of music performances. A local from Tuscaloosa, Kay Holden, brought her music-loving father to enjoy this new event and hopes to see it continue in years to come. For more information about the festival, you can visit Druid City Music Festival's website in Tuscaloosa. That's a brief update. Look, look at the newsroom. I'm Allison Underwood.